What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So this isn't my normal style of video. I got a pretty cool video planned for Friday, but I've been sick. So in today's video, I just want to talk about the Sega Genesis Mini that got announced over in Japan. And, uh, you know, just talk about the things that I know about the system already, because, you know, from what I'm seeing, it looks, it looks pretty exciting, especially for somebody that's new to collecting, that's jumping into the Sega Genesis. Uh, I mean, let's face it, the Sega stuff is uh, in vogue right now. Um, I'm really glad I got a lot of my Sega stuff when I did. Um, the price on a lot of that stuff is, is shooting through the roof. So apparently this mini Sega Genesis or uh, Mega Drive that's coming out over in Japan, uh, the Mega Drive version is supposed to come with two six-button controllers or one six-button controller. They have different versions of that system coming out, but apparently it's supposed to have the six-button controller. The U.S. version is supposed to come out with, from what I'm seeing, uh, one type of system with two controllers, and that's a three-button controller. Uh, you know, there's other videos about this on YouTube. Uh, I've watched those videos. I just want to talk to my audience about this, uh, this release of this device that's coming out. But the three-button controller, that doesn't bother me. Um, it would have been cool if they added uh, original, uh, I guess, what, nine-pin uh, plug-ins for, uh, for the controllers. I think everything's just going to be USB, at least for what I'm seeing, and as far as the packaging looks and everything. Um, so the music for the menu system for this game is, uh, I don't know how to say the guy's name, uh, but it's the guy that did the music for Act Razor, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, and uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, so that, that's pretty cool that they're hiring somebody that made music for those video games. It's really memorable. I mean, the OSTs for all three of those games are, are like stuff that I've listened to in my car before on my ride home from work. So, I mean, at least to me, that's pretty impressive. Now, the thing about this system that's the most impressive that really got my attention, guys, and if you watch my channel, you know about this, okay? So M2, you guys know how I love the M2 shooters, you know, all the cave stuff they've brought out on the, uh, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the PS4. M2 is, uh, you know, one of my favorite developers, and they just they know how to port games. They know how to add tons of options. I mean, let's, let's look at some of the U.S. release games that you guys might know about. If you're watching my channel and you don't know anything about import gaming, let's talk about uh, you know, some of the stuff that M2 has released over here. So just off the top of my head, two games that I could think of that they did very well were the new Mega Man X collections that came out on the Switch and the PS4, and I guess the, the, the Xbox One. M2 ported those games over, added all those options. They, just M2 is a beast with adding options to a game. And then the new Sega Genesis collection that came out on the PS4 and the Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch, they did that too. Um, you know, so th those are both impressive in my eyes. I own both of those compilations of games where, um, you know, I guess, yeah, I guess they would be compilations of games because, uh, you know, the X, it's not just the first X game, it's all of them. I mean, they put all the Mega Man X games on a disc and they released it to us. I mean, that's, that's worthy of recognition in and of itself. But anyway, so the Sega Genesis Mini, guys, sorry about my voice. You know, the more and more I talk, the, the worse and worse it gets. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it'll get better in a couple of days and I can drop my Friday video as scheduled. But this thing's obviously modeled after the Model 1 Genesis. You know, that's pretty cool. That's the one that's more memorable. I happen to own a Model 2 Genesis, actually a couple of Model 2s. Um, those are just the ones that I found. The Model 1s are a lot more uncommon. At least out here in Baltimore they are. Now the games lined up so far, the least the ones that are announced so far are, and, and here's the thing, I don't know if these are US releases, Japanese releases, these could be exclusive to Japan, we might not get some of these, you know, I don't know. This is all just stuff that I've heard about on the internet. But anyway, the lineup we have goes as follows. Altered Beast, Castlevania Bloodlines, Comic Zone, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Echo the Dolphin, Gunstar Heroes, Shining Force, Sonic the Hedgehog, Space Harrier 2, and Toe Jam and Earl. You know, that's a pretty that's a pretty solid lineup. You know, I know everyone's hyped up for the Castlevania Bloodlines. Um, you know, I was really fortunate to buy that game when it was cheap. Um, you know, now that's like a you know a hundred dollar video game. You know, depending if you get that uh, that first release version with that hard case, I know that goes for a lot more. I have the uh, the one with the um, the cardboard box, but mine's in like perfect condition, just throwing it out there. It's actually for sale 
if one of you guys want to trade me something serious for, like a good shooter or something, I'll trade you. But, yeah, Castlevania Bloodlines is an awesome game. Um, you know, same with Gunstar Heroes. I actually own physicals of most of the cool games they talked about, like the Shining Force, Castlevania Bloodlines. I think I, I don't know if I have Comic Zone or not, but I know Comic Zone's on that Sega Genesis collection they released on the PS4. At least I'm pretty sure it is. But the question that I have in my mind is, you know, what's the Mega Drive version, the Japanese version? What games is it going to have on it? Because of all these games they just dropped the names of, I don't see no shooters. And I know the Japanese systems typically, you know, like the, uh, like the ones Nintendo did or, you know, other many systems or like the PlayStation ones, actually, the one I was thinking of, the PlayStation Mini over in Japan, have shoot 'em ups on them. Now, I doubt the U.S. version is going to have any shoot 'em ups on it. Now, the Sega Genesis, at least in my eyes, is a system known for its shoot 'em ups. That's why I'm such a big Sega collector, more so than the Super Nintendo. I'm actually selling off a lot of my Super Nintendo stuff, except for my shoot 'em ups. But the Sega Genesis. Especially complete in, well, I guess about half of them are complete in box, or maybe more than half, are shoot 'em ups, you know? And I'm really, really glad I got everything when I did because it's, it's, it's Sega's time to shine. There's a million clone consoles out for the Sega Genesis. There's tons of Hyperkin systems out, and you got the, the Mega SG, you got original hardware. You know, there's tons of different options for you to play Sega stuff. And, oh, you know, one more thing. One more thing I heard about this new Sega Mini that's coming out. This thing will take physical cartridges. You know, that's something Nintendo should have added onto their hardware. You know, the ability to play your original cartridges. You know, if anything, they'd have sold more units. They'd have sold more. In my opinion, they'd have sold more. Because, you know, that you know, if they did that, people would find these little shitty SNES games at flea markets, know that they could take them home, throw them on their new mini console, and play them. That would have drive that would have drove the the local economy as far as people that resell video games. And Nintendo would have got money, but they didn't do that. Sega's smart. They're doing that. They know they're in style right now, and I think that that's awesome that uh, they are adding that. And like I said, M2's involved, so M2 is covering the emulation. You know, the only thing that I think this thing is lacking is some sort of Sega CD support. Now, I know it's, a, it's an emulation system, so using that Sega CD is probably not going to work really well. You know, it's damn near incompatible, to be honest with you. Um, if you want to play Sega CD games, I recommend if you don't have original hardware, uh, MD.EMU has about a 30 to 40% compatibility rate with Sega CD games, at least from the ones I've tried. So you can play uh, Lunar 1. Another notable game you can play on the MD.EMU emulator is Android Assault. So, two great games. I highly recommend both of those games. But, you know, being that the Mega SG is an FPGA-based system, and they, they, they can be docked with the Sega CD. You know, that's pretty cool. But it's an FPGA-based system, so it's actually repl replicating that original hardware, which is different than emulation. But anyway, guys, what do you think about the new Sega Mini coming out? I'm excited for it. I think if I get one, I'm probably going to get the Japanese version because uh, at least I think that the, the game slot on it is going to be, I guess, multi-region. I don't think they're going to region lock that. If they did, that would be fucking horrible. But, you know, what do you guys think about the system? I'm excited for it. The price point is supposed to be right around the $80 price point, so I'll probably try to import a Japanese version Maybe pay 90 I'll pay 90 for that. But, like I said, guys, Friday's video should go as scheduled, taking into account I get my voice back. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Until next time, guys, peace out.